Well, even though they haven't started framing the walls yet, somebody has been out here. Do you see that? They filled in all this gravel, dirt material in here. They're going to, they, and they've compacted it a little bit. They've just kept running back and forth, 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 back and what? Back and forth. And they've got that pretty much ready uh, to uh, get ready to pour this concrete. They're not going to pour this though, probably until they build the walls. We'll see. We'll see though. And you remember, uh, if you were watching that other video, see they snapped some red lines here. You see there? All the way along here. And that's where the top of the concrete's going to be. The bottom of the concrete's going to be right there. And they've got this, this uh, material underneath that because I don't know if they're going to put some crushed rock there. They may put, they may put a layer of this stuff on top of, on top of this. We'll soon find out. And I was kind of curious what they're going to do over here. I have no clue. They might form this out. It just seems kind of weird how these, how these, uh, these ducks, uh, chases are right down below where the concrete level is going to be. And they'll probably form around that. I'm, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do there. And then they've got to do something over in here. I don't know what that hole's for, but uh, it'll become clear once we, uh, once they get going further. And um, here it sits, here it sits. It's been about three weeks or so since they've installed the floor. And I'm gonna be going to see mother next week for a few days. And then, I, and then the week after that, I'm gonna be gone for about a week. And hopefully uh, sometime then, in and back and forth uh they'll have framed this and then once they frame it then i can walk i'll walk you through it and show you different things having to do with the framing and then at that point they'll probably start running the electrical on the walls they'll run the plumbing up and out of the walls wherever they have to and all that kind of stuff but let's take but enough of that let's take a look at this they've got this they've got this leveled off really good but um you know, everything, as you can see, everything slopes right down to the house, okay? And so whoever, whoever ends up doing the landscaping and that kind of thing, they're going to have to put some sort of line, uh, uh, an irrigation type line underneath, uh, perforated maybe in a channel with some gravel in it or something. So so if the water flows in towards the house you don't want that you want everything flowing away from the house but see how high it is up here and it all slopes where right on down to the house and uh you don't want that because then you could possibly get leaks uh underneath your concrete stem walls underneath your footings into underneath the house if that starts happening, it's going to get soggy, it's going to get wet, it's going to get moisture and dampness underneath there. Then it could start traveling up and getting moisture up on the uh, bottom edges of the TG, TJI floor joists and that kind of stuff. And there's no way you want that. So whoever does the landscaping here, they'll have to dig a trench in here, put a perforated four inch line in there so any water that comes in here goes down in there gets into that pipe and boom 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 comes out this way and then they'll have to angle it and and let it terminate out this direction okay and uh yeah that's that's about all i can show you because as you know if you've been watching my videos you already saw this was the gas that's the gas line the plumber installed this little pipe and I was looking at on some of my previous videos and I know there was no gas line connection uh, from there this way and so I know he's probably has to uh, bring this in into the house underneath the floor reduce it down and then tie it into his other gas lines inside the the house uh, and where where the air conditioning units are that's going to be gas probably you're going to have a, a gas stove uh possibly
gas stove oven combination, uh, possibly a gas um, dryer, a washer and dryer, and uh, and then he's got a gas location uh, over here too, and I'm not quite sure what that was for. And that's that's pretty much all I can show you. Here's where the here's where the plumbing pipe. The sewer line is coming out here. He's got he's got everything up high over there, and then it it all tapers down this way a quarter inch per foot all the way. Boom, 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 and that's going to come out of here. And we'll see later where they make their connection. That'll be interesting to see uh, because I'm not quite sure where it's going to be. And all of this kind of stuff you're going to have to figure out when you build your own house. And if you ever have questions and you talk to the inspectors and they'll tell you they'll tell you what to do. Bing, bang, boom. And uh, you'll, you'll learn a lot of stuff along the way, too, for sure. Okay. And lots of the stuff will be on the plans. But funny, funny thing about plans, you're not going to find everything on the plans on what to do first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and all that kind of stuff. The plans are a blueprint, a blueprint drawing of everything that's going on, usually on the front sheet of the plans it'll show your site plan will show all your exterior it should show where your gas line is where your electrical line is where your water line is where your sewer line connection is and all that kind of stuff and um, uh, it'll give you detail sheets and all that and hopefully when they get going on this I'll talk to the uh, contractor if I see him out here ask him if I can get a set of plans maybe he can give me a generic set of plans and I can tape over the the name of it the address of it and all that kind of stuff and then show you page by page how to read a set of plans and which room each one is for and how to measure and how to figure out the electrical and all that kind of stuff it's very interesting especially if you have not ever known how to read a set of plans in fact in fact on my on my uh, youtube channel if you go to my main youtube channel page click on playlists scroll down i might have a separate playlist how to read a set of plans uh, not this particular house but 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 some other ones where i had some generic uh, plans and i was showing people how to read it how to measure off the plans and all that kind of stuff and in fact i have i have a set of plans uh, when we moved into the house where we're at the initial the previous owner was the initial owner and he gave us a set of plans we had asked him for a set of plans we asked him actually for the set of approved plans but he didn't have the set of approved plans he gave us he gave us a generic set that had not been submitted that did not have all the corrections for the uh, going through the building department and all that kind of stuff but funny enough we went to I went down to the uh, main um, building department asked them told them I wanted to have a set of plans all, all I had to do was fill out some different information and son of a gun in four or five days they contacted me and they said okay the disc is ready for you they gave me a disc CD and it cost me guess how much it cost me it cost me a buck that's it and uh, then at that point I put that into my computer it showed everything from day one uh, whatever permits have been taken out on the project on the house and all that kind of stuff even if you're even if your house is 35 years old and if you don't have a set of plans if you don't know if there were any uh permits taken out on it for room additions decks uh water heater replacement air conditioning replacement all that kind of stuff you can find that out go down to your local building department just like just like i did tell them what you want and they'll probably be able to give you all of that stuff now it might cost you more than a buck who knows every building department is different so go to your local building department and then see from that disc they give you that disc then you could take that disc to a blueprint place and then you can tell them hey can you take this disc and I want to I want a complete set of plans drawings from the initial uh, when the house was initially built and I want those blueprints in fact um, and, and then you'll have a whole set of plans. And if they had any room additions done after that, any decks built, any, anything that required uh, getting permits of uh, re-roof, tearing off a roof and putting on an, a new roof, did you know that the roofer, a roofer is supposed to get a, a, a permit for that? And, all, and anything on your property will show.
will show which permits were taken out, which permits were actually signed off. Um, we found out uh, the water heater was replaced and there was an actual permit that was taken out on the water heater at the house that we purchased a few years ago, but it never was signed off. Can you believe that? I mean, I, and, and it shows the, uh, the plumbing contractor. I should have contacted them and I probably still can and tell them, hey, um, it looks like you guys took the permit out, um, the but the water heater was never inspected and we want you to reopen up that permit because after, oh, I don't know, maybe 90 days or six months, it might go stale. They might have to re reapply for it or, or sign in and pay an extra fee and then get an inspector out. I, I should probably actually do that because guess what? When you go and sell your house, if you got any outstanding permits that had not been signed off on your property, um, the, the, uh, uh, the next buyer, the potential buyer, he could say, hey, contingent on this permit getting signed off, that permit, and, and it looks like you never got a permit for your room addition, or you did get a permit on your room addition, but we see that was never signed off. Uh, we, we need to have that taken care of prior to closing of escrow, and uh, either you do that or we may if we're still interested in purchasing your property, we may offer you $50,000 less based on this, 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 and this. So if, if anybody is out there selling a house, you might want to check and make sure that your property is free and clear of outstanding permit issues, sign-offs, and all that kind of stuff. You can, you can do your due diligence now, check all that stuff out, and then get that stuff taken care of before you put your house for sale something like that okay so there's no surprises for you and if you're buying a house once you once you make your offer you you can you can say uh, you can give them contingencies and and over the 30 30 days 45 days whatever it is um, you can you can request you can go down to the building apartment yourself even before purchasing the property um, that you want that you you want a disc you want all the information for any permits that were taken out on this property. I don't care how old, the, how old the property is, it should have a record of all the permits. Even if there's 15 of them, you'll have records of all of them, whether or not they were taken out, whether or not they were signed off, and all of that kind of stuff. And, and you can check that out before you purchase the house. And then you can rearrange your price and, and tell them, hey, based on this this and that and you found out that they did, never had a permit or never had a permit signed off they took a permit out for the roof that they claim they just re, they just installed you don't have a sign off until they give the sign off uh, you're not closing escrow or you know you can readjust your pricing uh, offer for the house based on you know all the different facts that you find out from the building department okay do all your due diligence when buying a house and of course when selling a house okay so I think that's all I got for this time but I'll be back with more videos and hopefully I say hopefully next time I come out here we'll have some walls up and we can kind of see how they frame out walls and I'll, I'll I'm anxiously waiting to have them do that so that I can come out here and show you different things what these what these uh, what these extension rods are for how they're going to be connected onto the walls and what kind of brackets they're going to need look up look how fat these are look up look how big that is as opposed to that one why is that well we'll see once they once they frame everything and attach all that kind of stuff lots of that stuff is for earthquake uh, restrictions and or high winds and stuff like that it kind of holds your your house down to the, your your uh, concrete stem walls your footings and all that kind of stuff especially here in the garage too I wasn't going to show you this but I, I think you've seen it before see these straps here that's that's on these little small walls get you down here see see these straps that's going to be attached to the wall and that's going to hold your wall down to your your bottom plate 
and to keep it from swaying and keep it from moving around and being dislodged off of here see here there here's one here here's one here here's one there there's there's some here's here's some here now those don't have any bolts they don't have any bolts coming down but look at this one here this one's got bolts see this here's a here's a big old bolt there there's one there there's one over there there's a couple over there there's some over there how come there's none over on these I don't know you know however the plans say that's how you've got to build it and the engineer who designed the house uh, he's put them in for a reason if they weren't there and if the building department required it they'll have a revision on the plans any revision before they sign off the plans for a permit will be all on your on your building permit set of signed off plans and then if if those weren't on there initially they'll have done that through plan correction take it back to your uh, designer who who drew the plans and he'll have to he'll have to revise it as an addendum as a clouded area and uh, then you add whatever whatever the structural inspector wants whatever the electrical inspector wants whatever the plumbing mechanical inspector wants and all that kind of stuff okay all right I guess it's time for me to go now See you next time. That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And I'm just admiring the last bits of the sun had gone down there. There's no sunset over there, but the, but the clouds up this way, it still has some coloring from the sun that went down over there. And I'm just enjoying that just for a minute longer.